Hello folks, uh, so in this video uh, we will continue uh, working on this home page. So I will uh, write the you know, remaining piece of code. So let's get started. So the next step is to create certain div class tags. So div class equals to container. So container is nothing but just like a box or container which contains, which will contain all these elements, the text box, the labels, uh, you know, and the uh, buttons, etc. So it will create a container uh, which will house all these elements together. Okay, so that this is that one, and then we have uh, div class equals to div class equals to row. Okay, so this entire page the entire web page is basically uh, if I say this this particular web page is divided into rows and columns so rows and then columns okay so that's why I want to keep all the elements row wise so that's why I'm mentioning row here okay row okay and then div class div class equals to call six so this is nothing but this web page entire web page is basically divided into i would say uh 12 parts okay so it will it is divided into 12 parts only here okay and when I uh, type I mean when I mention column 6 here call 6 that means uh, the space is divided into two parts of 6 uh, the width of 6 each so 6 width of 6 and then width of 6 here okay you will be able to know or maybe I will cover this particular uh, uh, section for uh, these container rows and column six uh, we call it as a frame so this particular page is a f nothing but a frame and divided into 12 pieces or 12 parts and when I'm mentioning call six so it will be divided into two parts of six frames each okay I will cover this uh, in you know maybe next uh, tutorials okay how to uh, basically design these pages okay so for your reference this is just for your reference right now okay now closing div tags here slash div slash div okay now we will include our form here so we'll create a form here okay so form is the tag is form method equals to post because obviously we are going to post the values from this text box right so that's why post when we click on submit button it will be these values will be posted to web server action equals to trade it so just mentioning the endpoint here okay now close the form tag and now we will include the different elements here so div class equals to form group because we are creating a group of elements here and then we are creating label label for let's say new york okay and then sorry, close the label tag okay then I have created a now I need to include the P tag so P class equals to
so this is nothing but uh, you know making the label bold so i just wanted to make the label bold okay and then close this p tag and then include new york here okay then we will put, so label is nothing but this so you can see this is in bold now so that's what i was talking about so making it bold now it is for next is for input type which is this okay text box so input type equals to because it is a text box or text and we will name this text box as new york why we are naming it because th this is going to be very useful uh, uh, you know when referring so you remember here so we were request dot form new york so i was talking about this earlier right so this is nothing but the name of that element okay request dot form uh, request means re request whether it is post or get and then from the form element which form element i'm referring to so this is the name of that element which is text box okay so name here then only it will attach you know so this is like a link link between this text box and the value which are which i'm receiving in this variable so whatever value i'm going to enter here here okay that value will be referenced by this name of the form and then that value will be stored in the variable in this particular code statement okay all right so this is the text box and then after that text box i just included this informational text so that's why i included you know the small tags small id equals to ny help let us say ny help class equals to form text text muted so why muted now you are saying muted means that it is gray in color kind of just for informational i'm utilizing it so i can enter the text like enter enter one if the state selected is New York as enter zero. Now we will close this small tag, okay? And then we will close this div as well. So we will be doing the same stuff for other variables also okay so this is it for this uh, uh, video guys uh, i will be covering the remaining code in the uh, remaining code for this home page uh, home.html in the next video which will be the final video for home.html coding okay so thank you guys thanks for watching